Welcome to the Compaction Technologies service video for installing a centering kit, December 2020. It's a pretty simple installation, and the idea is we're going to keep the main actuator from running into these cross members by installing a centering kit here to keep the actuator centered and the back plate from shifting. A few tools you'll need is a 3 16 ball end Allen wrench, just in case, a rubber mallet, and a standard screwdriver. To start with, we're going to put these little white plastic caps on the right hand side on the three Allen screws that are inside the bracket. Once all you have all the caps in place, we're going to use the split nylon washer to go on next. And that's going to slide right up against those caps. And finally, we're going to use the split collar on the outside of that. Two important notes you'll need is to make sure, because this is resisting movement in this piece, you'll want it to be very tight. And in addition, although this machine's actuator is centered between these cross members, you may get a machine where it's offset and you'll need to adjust it. This is where the hammer comes into place and you'll need to run the actuator halfway down. The easiest way to do this is to unplug it during a compaction cycle. You'll notice that the actuator is extended and that now there's no tension on this back piece. So you can line it up perfectly centered. If there is tension on it and you need to move it, then the rubber mallet is an easy way to just tap it back and forth. In the case that it's not centered, you'll want to make sure that you put the centering kit on while it's in the extended position and tighten it up. So that way when it comes up, it won't have the opportunity to shift back and be difficult to work with. We hope you found this video informative. And if at any point in the installation you have any questions, feel free to call us at 612-230-2209 or the 800 number you find on the front of the machine. Thanks. Have a great day.